Welcome into New York Giants now by Chat Sports. I am your host, Marshall Green, and with the preseason opener right around the corner, that means football season is almost here for the New York Giants. And there's been a lot of talk about Brian Burns and Dexter Lawrence and Kayvon Thibodeau. But the player that I think everybody is sleeping on who will truly be the X factor for the New York Giants is former second-round pick, the pass rusher out of Georgia, Aziz Ojolari. As we know, Ojolari has sometimes, not sometimes, he has struggled to stay healthy throughout his NFL career. But I believe this role of being a rotational pass rusher is going to suit him best, and I truly believe we are going to see the best season yet from number 51, and I am tired of the disrespect that he has been getting. We'll talk about that around the corner, but first, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I am trying to take down Lions Talk, our Lions channel here at Chat Sports, and subscribers picked up this week. It's game week, it's competition time, and I don't just want to beat him in the preseason. I want to beat him in subscribers picked up. So if you love the Giants and you want free, informative, entertaining updates every day, smash that sub button. All right, as we know, the Giants made big time moves this offseason on the defensive line by going out and making a big time trade. For Brian Burns, sending a seventh-round pick and a fifth-round pick swap to Carolina to get the Pro Bowl pass rusher, and they gave him a five-year, $150 million deal. He is your edge one. We know he's a stud. Kayvon Thibodeau in year two had 10-plus sacks, and we're expecting him to take another step. But outside of that, there's been a lot of talk of Giants don't have another guy. Giants don't have anybody else that can create pressure. And I'm calling BS on this, and I am tired of the disrespect that Aziz Ojolari has been getting. The dude was hurt last year. And I don't want people to forget how special of a player that he can be. Listen to what Ojolari recently told the media. He said, quote, my hips weren't aligned last year. Stuff was off. One hip was longer than the other. When I'm doing that work consistently, it evened me out. Balance. That should help with staying on the field. When I'm out there, I have to produce stay healthy, and do what I can do. Get to the quarterback, make tackles for loss, make plays that I used to make. I'm going to give back to myself and show it out there. Seeing the end of the last season was not what I wanted at all. It was a bad look on me, and I took that to the core. I was like, I can't do that again. It won't be like that anymore going forward. And you know what? I do think Aziz Ojolari is going to have his best season of his NFL career because I think this role where he doesn't have to be a down-in, down-out pass rusher, where he doesn't have to be the guy that's racking up and stacking up snap after snap after snap and being on somewhat of a pitch count and going into the game when he is extremely fresh and just having the job of putting his hand in the dirt, pinning his ears back, and creating pressure is going to suit him best. Last year, played in just 11 games, but when you talk about his career, and you look at it in totality, and you stack up the numbers, I'm not sure how anybody cannot be hyped up about this dude. Who has 16 sacks in 35 games played with 27 QB hits, 14 tackles for loss, and 79 tackles. When he's available, he produces. And that is shown in the stat sheet. Look at this. In 2021, the guy played in all 17 games. And he had the best season of his career. 42 pressures, 27 hurries, and 13 quarterback hits. Then the next year, the injuries started to come along. Seven games played. 19 pressures, 9 hurries, and 7 quarterback hits. This past year in 11 games, 25 pressures, 17 hurries, and 7 quarterback hits. Look at the pressure rate, which is pass rush snaps divided by pressures. On 9.6% of his snaps, he created pressures in his rookie year. On 13.5% of his snaps in 2022, he created pressure. And then in 9.4% of his snaps in 2023, he created pressure. And you just look at these numbers and you're like, Marshall, what do those really mean? What are those relative to other players? Well, let's stack it up against the players on this team. A career pressure rate for Aziz Ojolari comes in at 10.2. Kayvon Thibodeau is 8.9. 
Brian Burns, who just got $150 million, is 11.8. And Sexy Dexy, the guy that's known as the best pass-rushing interior defensive lineman in the league, has a 10.7 pressure rate. So Aziz Ojolari creates pressure more often than Kayvon Thibodeau. And almost at the same rate as Dexter Lawrence, and he's right behind Brian Burns. This team, if they are going to win games, if this team is going to compete in the NFC East as the weather gets colder and colder, it is going to be because of the four players pictured on screen. They have the most assets allocated to the defensive line, second round pick in Ojolari, top five pick in Kayvon Thibodeau, $150 million in uh, Brian Burns, and a first round pick in $90 more million in Dexter Lawrence. This team needs to be led by these four players. And I am tired of Aziz Ojolari not being in the talks of one of these three guys. I know five and I know 97 and I know zero are great, but I really do think we're going to see number 51 turn it on this year. We've got more thuts and stats about Ojolari around the corner, but first I got to give a major shout out to today's sponsor, Game Time, the number one ticketing app in the game. So if you're looking to buy tickets, maybe go to a Yankees game, a Mets game, a Giants game, a Knicks game, a concert, a theater event, or something else, do it with our proud sponsor, Game Time. Open up the app store, type in Game Time, download the app, and use the promo code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase where terms do apply. The reason I am a Game Time user is because you get the best seats for the lowest prices guaranteed. Prices actually drop as the events get closer. So if you are a procrastinator like I am, Game Time is going to be the app for you. Last-minute tickets and flash deals. If you don't want to buy tickets a month in advance, do it with Game Time. The app will also let you know when the best deals for the best seats for the best prices are going down. You also get a view from the seat. But my favorite feature of Game Time is the all-in pricing. I've used all the ticketing apps out there, and they love to say, oh, this ticket's 100 bucks." And then you get to check out, you're spending 200 bucks. As you can see on the middle of the screen, you can filter your tickets by all-in pricing, meaning the price that you see is the price that you pay. Go to Giants games, concerts, and more. Do it all with game time. Download the app, create an account, and use the promo code CHATSPORTS. C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S and get $20 off your first purchase where terms do apply. I'll make sure all that information is clickable down in the comment and description of today's show. Even the biggest Aziz Ojolari haters out there, they have to agree with me on this. Talent has never been Ojolari's problem. There was a reason he was being mocked as a first round pick when he came out of Georgia. There is a reason despite being injury prone and having long term worries about his health, he still went in the second round. There's a reason he had a great rookie year and the, sky, the, the hopes were sky high for this player. He is an elite talent, but you got to be dependable. And sometimes the best ability is availability. And Ojolari knows he has to be healthy. But it's not just me who has noticed how special, or you, how special Ojolari is. His new teammate, the guy that just signed a $150 million contract, he also knows that Aziz Ojolari is special. Brian Burns on Ojolari saying this. It comes very, very natural to him. I think he's very gifted. He has extremely long arms and natural leverage, so that makes him a premium pass rusher as far as his build. He's been doing great so far. I expect big things from him this year. There is a reason that Ojolari coming out of Georgia in the SEC was being mocked as one of the top pass rushers coming out of college. And for Brian Burns, a guy that's regarded as one of the best, already secured a long-term deal, and is at the top of the top when it comes to production at his position, has already recognized that Ojolari is a beast. But it's not just Burns that thinks Ojolari is special. There's a relationship building between Ojolari and Burns. And Ojolari has taken notice of Burns since the first time they played in his rookie season. Ojolari on Burns saying this, when we played against Burns after that game my rookie year, I was trying to get tips from him. I love the way he plays the game. Now he's on the team, so I can learn from him. Add whatever I can take from his game to my game and improve it because I've seen what he's done in this league, and I want to get to that level too. I love that mindset from Ojolari. It's very easy in professional sports to see 
potentially your replacement, potentially the guy that the team is a- adding to take your job and be like, no, this is BS, man. I'm a Zijo Lillardi. I'm a second-round pick. I'm supposed to be the edge rusher. Instead, a positive mindset and a positive outlook to how can I help myself as a player grow from the addition of Brian Burns? I'm pumped up for 51 this year, man. And I've thought about it for a couple of weeks now, and I truly do believe it. A reduced role where he doesn't play, have to play 80 or 70% of the defensive snaps, just come in and get after it. Come in and put pressure on the quarterback. Come in on third down. Come in and be aggressive and be fresh and be rested. And when you go up against that tired offensive tackle, you go out there and make a play. We know that the New York Giants are known for their pass rushers. That is the DNA of the New York football Giants. I need a NASCAR package this year with zero on one side, five on another, and 51 and 97 all on the field. I want to see all four of those dudes on the field at one time getting pressure on the quarterback. Pin your ears back and go make a play. We haven't seen that since the glory days of this football team. You got four dudes now who can go and do it. I'm just ready, man. I am ready for the season. What I saw from the Giants on Monday at joint practices against the Lions, inject that shit into my veins. It has me fired up. I saw Brian Dable, even though he was skinny, looking like his old self, yelling and MFing people. We saw Brian Burns get in the face of people. Rookie slot corner Andrew Phillips didn't back down. Daniel Jones is in the mix fighting. This team's playing with a little bit of spunk right now. A little bit of swag, man. And I think that they're ready to go out and prove everybody wrong, including me, who doubt this team. And I want them to prove me wrong. I want them to be great because I love this dang team. And I'm ready to see them get back to being the respected franchise that they once were. Show Aziz Ojolari some love. There's a lot of hate out there for him. I don't get it. I mean, I understand. You're mad the guy can't stay healthy. Sure, injuries happen to everybody in this league. But I just got a feeling this dude's going to have a big year, man. Type those 51s for me down in the comment section. And if you haven't yet, give me a follow on social media. At Marshall Green underscores the handle. That's on Twitter. That's on Instagram. Hit me up over there. And let's talk some New York Giants football.